Hello and welcome to my studio. I'm Naomi from Pigeon Art and today we're going to be doing a sewing adjacent video. We're not making anything but we are going to be looking at some vintage sewing machines. I picked the one behind me up for free on the side of the road. Someone was throwing it out. Can you believe that? They actually had two sewing machines there and I only picked one up. We don't have infinite space in our house. Couldn't save them both. Uh, hopefully somebody else picked the other one up. I didn't know anything about either of them so I picked the one I liked the look of better. <laughs> and also last year we picked up a 99 year old sewing machine and it's a Singer treadle machine and I um, have been meaning to give it a good clean and all that for quite a while. So I actually started this video months ago. I'll try and timestamp it. So anyway, straight into it. So as you can see, Luke had to carry this sewing machine because it weighs an absolute ton. I actually uh, will try and remember to weigh it next time I get it off from my shelf. Uh, again, something I can't do on my own. I started by using my vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna be honest with you and I think it had been lived on by mice there were what looked suspiciously like mice droppings on it and uh, yeah we really didn't want to touch it until it had been cleaned thoroughly. I used warm soapy water and I just went over it and over it. I cut out all the times I went over the same bits. <laughs> I went over it and over it as much as possible until it looked and felt clean. It was really dusty, grimy, and just generally gross. I used the last of our plastic Q-tips um, to get into the nooks and crannies of it. After I cleaned this all up, I took it to a sewing machine expert who serviced it for me and actually got it running. I wasn't personally feeling confident about plugging this in just because uh, some of the electrical cords looked a bit dodgy and I didn't want to blow up our house. It's not ours, we're renters, so <laughs> it would have been a difficult one to explain to the landlord. I just got it as clean as I could and then I took it to the guy and he actually managed to get it running really well and uh, he said it sews really well and I, I should use this instead of my brother sewing machine if I'm doing thick fabrics, sewing th thick fabrics. So canvases, jeans, um, thick set curtains, I should be using this um, sewing machine which is wonderful. I'm glad to have um, it as an option as well and it sounds beautiful. Because it had been so disgusting, we didn't want to play around with it until it had been cleaned. While I was cleaning up, that's when I started playing around with the little knobs to see how it worked and to find out if it would work. Nothing seemed to be seized up, which was a good sign.
GH Palmer was a brand in Australia that was sort of a competitor to Singer. And it was actually like what other Australians would know as David Jones. It was actually a department store and uh, they're quite common still in Australia. Um, I discovered all this since getting this sewing machine because I had no idea. I didn't know anything about them. All I knew was uh, the Singer brand from of the past. There is a little storage area underneath the sewing machine. You can flip it open. I'm sorry the angle is not great, but we were more worried about getting it clean than uh, getting a good shot. You can see Luke and I in the computer screen anyway, if you <laughs> wanted to see us <laughs> struggling. But yeah, I needed Luke's help because I tried to hold it myself while vacuuming. It was impossible. It is so heavy. And then I also decided I needed some vacuum underneath it because it was also quite dirty. I mentioned that the cords and electrical things were a little bit scary, a bit broken, so I wasn't sure if they would be safe, and you can see there what I mean. I then took off the foot, because I realised the foot was stopping my needle from going up and down, and that's why it was not going a full rotation. So once I took off the foot, that's when I was able to get the uh, needle to go up and down completely and I actually took out the needle at the same time just to give all of that area a good clean. And now you can see it going up and down, no problems. So those numbers at the top that I just adjusted, they adjust the zigzag width and so on zero you would go a straight sit stitch and then the other numbers that I just switched are the length of the stitch. There you go, a nice clean sewing machine. The next step was to give my shelves behind me a bit of a clean, a bit of a dust because I wanted to put them there and I just needed to rearrange a few things to fit it. And then I called Luke over to carry it up for me. It's a bit of a pain that I'm going to need to have Luke around if I want to use that sewing machine but luckily I still have my brother you know modern sewing machines. 
So here's my pride and joy. Um, this is my Singer sewing machine. I'd been looking for one for quite a while because I just love the look of them and I just really wanted to get one while they're still sort of attainable. I know the prices have been going up in the last few years. I used to look at them when they were $50 each and um, I didn't have space in my house at the time so I couldn't buy one. Now this one was $210 and I bought it at a garage sale and it needs a fair bit of work but this was the style that we wanted with the drawers and the, tr the treadle visible. It doesn't work and I will be eventually taking it to the, my sewing machine guy. My sewing machine guy used to work for Singer. I am sure if it's possible to get it working again he could do it. It also needs a fair bit of uh, love on the furniture itself. The veneer is peeling up in places and actually the finish has sort of you can't see it really in the video but the finish has gone funny I don't know if someone tried to refinish it badly or what in the past but at this stage I have a feeling this will be a professional job because I'm a bit worried about stuffing up something so precious I would love to do it myself but I'm thinking a furniture restorer will probably be the right person to talk to about this one. That is a one for the future. At this stage, I'm just glad it's in my house. I own it, it's safe. And then when I have a little bit of savings and disposable income and own my own house, that's when I can worry about paying a few more hundred dollars in getting this working beautifully. I uh, did a fair bit of backwards and forwards with this one as well. Have to go over the same bits um, multiple times. And it's a lot more little bits and pieces and um, moving parts on this one than on the Palmer. Sorry about the lighting in this room. Unfortunately, this is the darkest room in the house and I only had one of those little lights. I didn't do it this all in one weekend and I put it down and didn't come back to it for quite a few months just because it felt like oh, such a pain to have to come back to uh, but as it turns out I'd actually done most of it already and it was just the metal bits that needed a bit of love.
When I came back, I was tried with the soapy water to clean those metal bits and worked out pretty quickly that wasn't going to happen. I brought out the white vinegar and that was taking far too much time as well. And then that's when Luke reminded me about my mother-in-law gave me some jewelry cleaning solution. So I grabbed that and uh, that actually worked really well. I was trying to be really careful not to get it onto the furniture itself or the sewing machine itself because I didn't know what it would do to the decals or the wood. What I did was I would scrub it on with a, the little brush that comes with the set, leave it for five minutes, come back with the soapy water and then wipe it that off and give it a polish and then do it again until it, need, it sort of came good as much as I could. All in all, getting both sewing machines cleaned up was a big job, but so satisfying. It's just really nice to have this little bit of history inside my house, or these two little bits of history inside of my house. The Singer machine actually came with a whole heap of machine needles and feet and uh, just little bits and pieces, um, which are just so ex little treasures, basically which um, are probably quite difficult to get a hold of now if I were to get this sewing machine working and decided to actually sew with it. But yeah, I'm really happy with it and I'm glad I took the time to clean them up pro properly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to give it a like. It really helps me out. I upload most Sundays with art, DIY and sewing videos. And I hope to see you then. Bye.